Hey guys, welcome back. This is Jesse Clark with Big Business Look on a Small Business Budget. And I bring you free and affordable online resources to help you grow your business and save money and not break the bank. Now that you have your website, I'm going to tell you four things that you can do to your website and to your branding, to your business, just using the free tools around you in order to get in front of your competition, get in front of your clients, and to kind of get your, your brand and your business out there online. So, number one, make sure that you have a Google business page. You can go onto your Google account and you can submit the Google My Business. So looking at my website right here, you can see if I just type in Web Design Peoria, Arizona, where, which where I am located, uh, you type in Web Design Peoria, Arizona, and you go down here and you'll see me, easy click Web Design, and then if you go more places, you'll see kind of how I show up over here, and you click on my um, company here, and you will see that I have just Peoria, Arizona. I do not have my address um, selected. So from there, you can um, see the pictures I've added. You can see the um, reviews I've gotten so that people can just leave a review. But this is really telling Google, um, hey, I exist, I am a business, and you submit it. So once you go to submit, um, submit your website, which you can just Google, um, just go to google.com my business or google.com business, you'll see how you can get set up here, how it works, um, FAQs, but what the, how the process is, if you go to that google.com uh, business, you can set it up if you haven't done it, it'll walk you through the steps. And when I did it uh, a couple years ago, um, they actually send you a card in the mail with a pin that makes uh, you confirm that it is you and then you can get registered, you can put that pin from that uh, note card that they actually physically mail you, put it into the website and that kind of uh, confirms your, uh, your business. So I do recommend doing the Google My Business. The second thing I want you to look at, or the second thing you can do is start creating your social media profiles. Um, Facebook page, you can create a Facebook business page that is linked to your personal page. They have nothing to do with each other. But if you have a personal page, you can create a business page and start branding your business page. Uh, Twitter is another one you can start um, using to, to get your name out there. And uh, Instagram, and there's others out there, but those three are really the ones that I'm uh, most involved with. And, and with these social medias, make sure that you have your branding consistent across your um, business. You, wanna, you want people to um, start noticing your brand. You need to keep it consistent. Keep the, the logo on there, the colors, your slogans, things like that. So if you go here to my Facebook business page, you'll see that I have my banner here. You'll see my Twitter page here. You'll see my YouTube page here. So. I'm keeping it consistent across my social medias. Another thing is is your handles. Um, when people say your ha social media handles, that is what you're going to see right here. It's the at sign. That's where people can find you or locate you. And if you keep those consistent as well, that will help people remember you better and be able to locate you on these different platforms. Now, what are you going to do once you have these social media profiles um, created? Well, you need to start getting involved. Don't just um, start telling people you have a business. Don't just try to start selling yourself. People um, are really not interested in you just throwing your product or service in their face. But what you can do is you can start getting involved in different communities and um, replying um, sincerely replying to people's comments and their posts and asking questions and just start sharing um, success stories or start sharing personal things that are happening to you within your business. Make people 
um, want to read your stuff, add pictures, add videos, things like that. So if you just um, are sincere and posting unique things and just kind of being yourself, that is going to um, get people um, more likely to reply to you and want to be involved and um, accept you into their their community, their online community. The third thing that you can do is within your website, you can start creating a blog. Um, you can start writing articles that are unique about your product or service. Uh, don't just copy and paste stuff from other websites, but really, um, really start thinking about, again, real success stories and real things that are happening in your life or with your business within your industry and put those out on your blog. From there, it will really help Google to also find the content that you're, you're putting out there on your web page. They'll start crawling your website and finding that content that, and it's unique. And that's what Google, Google's algorithms are looking for those kind of things. So make sure you're, um, you're writing articles. And like on my last video, I talked about having like a minimum of 500 words. That is, a, that's a good, um, that's a good standard number uh, minimum of words to put on your, on your pages for, um, for content. The last thing that I want to talk to you about, number four, and uh, this is uh, testimonials. Uh, people, they like to read how other people's experiences are with your business, with your product or service. Um, I know when I go to websites, I do read a lot of reviews. Um, whether I'm buying something, uh, product or service, I go and see what other people talking about this. Um, what are they saying? Um, what kind of things are they saying about your business? So that does make a big impact on whether I want to uh, purchase or work with you. Um, you can also ask clients to um, shoot you an email and just say, can you just send me a quick testimonial about our experience that we have? And your clients are more than likely going to do that for you. And you can go even one step further is have them submit video testimonials. If I see a video testimonial on a website, I, I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna watch it. And I think those are more powerful than even um, just text testimonials as well. On the video side of it, uh, you can also post a, an, uh, a video biography of yourself. If, if someone goes to your website and they see you as the owner talking about your business and they actually can watch something, um, that again is going to be, um, that is going to bring, bring people in and it's going to be bring people to your website and actually watch your website, stay on your website and be more interested. Um, with what you're selling them and it's it's just more personable so I hope uh, that helps you so once you have your website built um, the four things again are get a Google Plus page uh, number two is create social media profiles and start getting involved with those while keeping your branding consistent amongst those platforms whether it's Facebook Twitter Instagram those are three big ones that um, people businesses are using in um, people are getting involved with. Number three is start writing articles, start writing unique content about your industry, about your, your business. And number four, the last one is um, ask for testimonials. Put some video testimonials on your website and put a video bio of yourself on your website. Anything that's gonna keep people um, on your website when they get there and um, give people a sense of um, personalization with you and try to relate, um, you want to try to relate to them. That is going to help get your name out there. People are more likely to share your website with their friends or come back for more. So I hope that helped. Again, have a good day and see you next time.